Goldfish are usually brilliantly coloured. Many are multicoloured. Some have scales so thin the scales can hardly be seen. Some goldfish grow to be only two or three inches or five to eight centimetres long. Others grow to be more than a foot or 30 centimetres in length. Goldfish require little care. Water in the container should be about 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 19 degrees Celsius. Extreme changes of temperature are harmful. The water should be kept clean and goldfish need to be fed once a day. They eat worms, breadcrumbs, water fleas and plants. They do not have eyelids, so something must be placed in the container to provide shade. Goldfish reads G G G G reads One day, Gabe's grandpa, Ghana, came home from Galway. In his hands, he had a small square box swinging from a wire handle. Gabe, I've brought you something. Oh, good, Grandpa Ghana. What is it? I'm going to let you find out for yourself. Here, open it carefully. Gabe took the wire handle of the little box. He thought he heard a faint sound like water sloshing back and forth and the box seemed to move in his hand. It's alive, isn't it, Grandpa Garner? Is it an animal? Well, Gabe, open it and see. Gabe opened the first flap and the second flap. He opened the third flap and the fourth flap, and there was water in the box and a fish. Oh boy, a fish. What kind of fish is it, Grandpa Garner? What kind do you think, Gabe? Maybe a guppy, Gabe said. No, it isn't a guppy. Maybe it's a goldfish, Gabe said, looking closer at the fish. No, he isn't gold, he's green. Is he a green fish or a goldfish, Grandpa Garner? Well, I guess he's a green goldfish, Gabe. I thought he was pretty. So do I, said Gabe said. I wonder if he likes being green. I'm going to name him Gary Goldfish. Gabe's mother got him a bowl for his goldfish, a pretty gold covered glass bowl. That's a nice home for Gary Goldfish, Mum. Thank you. That night, Gabe lay in his bed watching Gary Goldfish, the green fish or the green goldfish. Gabe was almost asleep when he said to Gary Goldfish, just pretending of course, what are you, Gary Goldfish? I'm a green goldfish, Gabe thought he heard Gary Goldfish say. Gabe knew that Gary Goldfish couldn't talk, of course, but still, what had he heard? Gabe decided to try again. Do you like being a green goldfish? Most goldfish are gold. I know, I know, but I like being green, said Gary Goldfish. You do, Gabe whispered. You like being different. I like being different because that's being me. I like being the way God created me. I am different too, Gabe said. I have red hair. Sometimes my friends tease me. Everybody's different in some way, said Gary Goldfish. Some people are left-handed. Some are tall. Some are short. Some are good at one thing. Some are good at another. Yes, said Gabe. And some are not as good at doing some things like me. I'm better at math than English. I'm good at baseball, but not very good at football. Gabe thought he saw Gary Goldfish nod his head wisely. <clears throat> Gabe wasn't sure. That's exactly it. Everyone is different. That's how God created us. God made you as you are because that's exactly the right way for you to be. Because God has a different pl plan for your life different from anybody else's. You are the way God wants you to be. Gabe was almost asleep. 
I'm the way God created me because that's the right way for me to be, Gabe whispered to himself. I'm glad God made me different from anyone else. And the next minute, Gabe was fast asleep. Who brought Gabe a surprise? Yes, it was Grandpa Garner. What was inside the box? That's right, a goldfish. What colour was the fish? Yes, it was green. What did Gabe pretend the fish could do? Yes, he pretended the fish could talk, didn't he? Can fish or animals really talk as people do? No, they can't. That's right. What colour was Gabe's hair? Yes, it was red. Is everybody different? Yes, we're all different in some way. Who made people different? Yes, that's right. God made us all different. Are you different in some way? That's right. And it's okay that you're different, isn't it? Can you say, thank you, God, you made me just right for me? Listen as I tell you a word. Can you hear the g sound? Gum. Does gum have the g sound? Gum. Yes. Gum has the g sound. A go. Can you hear the g sound in a go? Yes, a go has the g sound. Toe. Can you hear the g sound in toe? No, toe doesn't have the g sound. Dry. Can you hear the g sound? In the word dry, no, dry doesn't have the g sound. Glass, can you hear the g sound in the word glass? Yes, glass has the g sound. Late, can you hear the g sound in the word late? No, late doesn't have the g sound. Shag. Can you hear the g sound in the word shag? Yes, shag has the g sound. Gold. Can you hear the g sound in the word gold? Yes, gold has the g sound. Kind. Can you hear the g sound in the word kind? No, kind doesn't have the g sound. Gave. Can you hear the g sound in the word gave? Yes, gave has the g sound. Listen as we read a sentence. Can you find the word that has the g sound? Years ago, Jesus died for our sin. Can you find the word that has the g sound? Years ago, Jesus died for our sin. Go. Go has a g sound. Never eat like a pig. Can you find the word that has the g sound? Never eat like a pig. Pig. Pig has a g sound. Logs come from trees. Can you find the word that has the g sound? Logs come from trees. Log. Log has a g sound. Heaven has a street of gold. Can you find the word that has the g sound? Heaven has a street of gold. Gold. Gold has a g sound. Each child should have his own glass. Can you find the word that has the g sound? Each child should have his own glass. Glass, glass of the good sound. 
Let's blend these sounds. G, A, G, A, G, 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 A, G, A, G, 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 A, G, A, G, 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 E, G, E, G, G. G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G A G Ig, ig, egg, 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 egg. Now let's blend these sounds into words. G, a, m, g, a, m, game, game. G, a, r, b, g, a, r. Garb, garb. G e r, g e r, gear, gear. E g g, e g g, egg, egg. B e g, b e g, bag. Bag. Love as brethren, 1 Peter 3 verse 8. Do you remember a time when you were hurt or when you had a problem and someone cared about you and helped you? That caring person was being compassionate. He felt for you and wanted to help you. He was loving as Jesus is loving. That person was putting your needs before his own needs. When we are kind and caring to another, it blesses that one that we are helping and it also blesses us. Once there was a boy named Mephibosheth. Isn't that a strange name? Mephibosheth. Say it with me. Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth's grandfather was King Saul and his father was Jonathan and the Prince of Israel. Jonathan was the best friend of David, the shepherd boy. Troubled times came to Israel for enemies came to fight against King Saul and his armies. These enemies defeated King Saul and the armies of Israel in battle. Because the enemies entered the land of Israel, King Saul's family was in danger. Mephibosheth and his nurse had to hurry to leave their home. The little boy's nurse, anxious to carry Mephibosheth to safety, picked him up to run out of the house. However, she dropped Mephibosheth and he was hurt. After this accident, Mephibosheth was lame. He could not walk. King Saul and Prince Jonathan were killed in battle. After a time, David became the new king. Because King David had loved Jonathan, he wanted to do something to honour the memory of his, of his friend. He looked for someone from Jonathan's family to honour. King David found out that Mephibosheth was Jonathan's only living child. When David found out that Mephibosheth was lame, he had compassion on him and invited Mephibosheth to live in the king's palace. At King David's palace, Mephibosheth was well cared for by King David's servants who provided Mephibosheth every, with, for his every need. Mephibosheth ate all his meals at King David's table. Mephibosheth was not invited to eat at King David's table because he was smart 
or because he was handsome, or because he was a great soldier. Mephibosheth ate at the king's table because King David had compassion on him. The king had loved Jonathan and wanted to honour and help his family. King David showed his love for his friend Jonathan by having compassion for Mephibosheth, Jonathan's only living child. Because of King David's compassion and loving care, Mephibosheth was happy and honoured all of his life. Like Mephibosheth, we are crippled by sin. Our compassionate king, Jesus, forgives our sin and takes care of us because he loves us. Someday, and it may be soon, Jesus will take all the believers to his palace, which is in heaven. Then the believers will sit at the king's table, just like Mephibosheth. 2 Samuel chapters 4 and 9 Character Objective Compassionate In our story, we see David's compassion for Mephibosheth. David saw Mephibosheth's suffering and David wanted to help Mephibosheth without expecting anything in return. Christ has compassion for us when he took the punishment for our sins on the cross of Calvary. The Bible tells us that when he, Jesus, saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them. Jesus always cared for others. We should use our lives in caring for others just as Jesus did. We should be concerned with how much we can help others rather than what we can get others to do for us. Let's make this our prayer for today. Lord, help me to live for others that I may live like thee. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 8 Love as brethren Love as brethren 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 8 Love as brethren 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 8 Say it with me Love as brethren 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 8 Goldfish reads g g g G reads g g g I go Now it's time to do your row building. Do pages 1 through 8. Also, do any math pages your supervisor has assigned to you.